Hello, queens. Uh, how are we all doing today? My name is Notepad Anon, and I usually write games for fun, but today we're going to be writing some more games, because I can never stop the grind. The grind never ends. I am the grind. Uh, let me double check my, my audio yet again. Oh, we've got a manly co-host right away. Uh, he will probably die violently, but say hello to the yellow magician. The grind is eternal, yes. Well, Spartan, you're sitting in a police station waiting for a kid who re-rendered your car. Uh, make sure to uh, kill him. Make sure to beat him to death with a hammer when he arrives. Uh, preferably two hammers, just so you... <laughs> Good cabaraching and all that. I mean, you could shoot him now if you want. But yes, hello. Welcome. What are we doing today? What's the, what's the, what's the, what's the, what's the, what's the deal? What's the, what's popping? Well, two things. If we go to, if we go to Miro, yes, hello Miro. Ultra Instinct is in a really good place right now. We literally just need to start writing. All of this works. Numbers, eh. Uh, got combat in a way that I actually don't, hate it's a little bit i'm going to need to clean something up but i don't know how to do it yet but we'll get to we get there basic premise with uh the most basic premise with this uh with ultra instincts combat is you determine your instinct which is effectively like a flat which is just a flat number which may be modified slightly but generally speaking it's a uh from there whoever has the lowest is going to place themselves first on the map here. It's effectively, you know, in the half second time, the person who is slower is going to, you know, kind of reveal where they're going first. Then everyone rolls their sequence score. Determine their total AP. The sequence score is going to be a flat value, which is then going to then, everyone's going to take away points based on how fast they're going. You go super fast, you're going super quick. You're not going to be able to do as many actions. Good news, though. Uh, at the end of the round, after everyone's gone, whatever your ins whatever your speed is currently, you will then add that to your instinct. So you will most likely end up going, being able to place yourself down last, giving you a better idea of where the enemy is. It's all about reaction, action and reaction. On the other hand, if we go all the way up here, uh, the basic premise behind an attack is use an action, you spend AP, you choose what the kind of action you want to do, and then the defender is going to, to choose to dodge, block, or do a struggle. If you block, you just burn AP to reduce damage. It's not very efficient, it's not very good, but if they're doing a bunch of little damage at you, arguably it might be good for you to just block it. If you do a dodge... It's an all-or-nothing defense with a flat target number based on your speed. The faster you're going, the easier it is to dodge. On the other hand, the faster you're going, the less stuff you get to do. You're going to get attacked more often, but you can defend a bit, a bit easier. Or, you can attempt to struggle. If you attempt to struggle, you literally th you are attempting to fight one another and try to see who gets the best damage. Uh, if you get the better, whoever gets the better damage takes all the damage, and the other one does not. The problem with the struggle is that it's random, and you could just as easily miff the roll and get your shit kicked in just as much as you could succeed and not get your shit kicked in. Kind of a, you're you're very much gambling with struggling and dodging. The dodging is a lot more reliable. Struggle is kind of a, kind of a, you know, toss. You gotta make a call of what you want to do there. We also kind of have to know, hey, this guy is really weak doing this. We need a way to dodge that. That's the basic premise. Everything else works relatively well. Mm. Right, uh, powering your heart without it stops you and you shall die. Like the Winchester Magic, there must be a project being worked on all time or else the evil spirit will take you. This is me. The evil spirits are my own depression and sanity. Oh, hey, Oh, God. See, I, I made a boo-boo, and I cut my nails last night.
Why is this the only episode of Dungeon Delvers? Because we've got a lot of stuff to do, and I don't know when else we would do a Dungeon Delvers episode. This was kind of a um, kind of a spur of the moment thing. So, what is Dungeon Delvers, though? Well, Dungeon Delvers is technically a. Uh, if we want to be really specific about things, it's technically this. Dungeon Tactics TTRPG. This is... This is Dungeon Tactics. I wrote this game. Uh, you, it may say Isaac Tate, but AP Blaine, otherwise known as Notepad Anon. I wrote this game a long while ago. I wrote it for money as a commission project, but I've always been kind of fascinated in it. So I said, hey, I'm going to make my own version of it. Because I actually did have it. Uh, to put it on the website, I had Dungeon Delvers. Which was just the original game with a bunch of stuff removed to be legally distinct. Uh, what I ended up doing was making this. This is Dungeon Delvers. This is its own thing a little bit. I decided to go my own direction with it. Because I could do that. Because fuck you. <laughs> yeah. So, generally speaking... I haven't wrote the lore. The lore is quickly devolving into it's just a train odyssey. Uh, the less we think about it, the better we are. This is a diceless game, though. This is important to note. This is a diceless game. You do not roll any dice, so there is no randomization. Every single thing you do is tracked by your AP. You are effectively uh, dungeoneering, but combat is a little bit... How do I want to word it? Since everything is based off your AP, it's entirely a, well, you need to figure this out of what's the best option in this situation. But, to compensate the lack of complete randomness, I expect people to go into more fights, if that makes sense. The option, the idea is building a character up and going adventuring and looting and all that shit. The usual. Yes. I, I wrote Dungeon Tactics as a commission. This is just a, uh, it's a completely different variant of it, but I maintained some of the basic prem the ideas. Uh, currently, there are 20 classes. Uh, yeah, there are 20 different classes. Each of them do something slightly different under these th four duties. The idea is that these, these five duties, technically, these five duties indicate what you do. Controllers, you know, controllers control things, guardians protect people, leaders lead, strikers do damage, and supporters keep everyone alive. That's kind of the basic premise. Everything is based off these very simple statistics, as you can kind of see here. We've got our, technically our five main statistics, though vitality is its own statistic, technically. Really, uh, no one really has very low vitality, because that's kind of the joke. <laughs> Basic derived statistics, some inventory space, because, again, at the end of the day, every single thing here is very, uh, every, everything is perfectly understood, which is equal parts interesting and equal parts very difficult. <laughs> We're gonna have some very basic equipment to start off with. There's a lot of stuff going on here. We've got a couple races. Uh... Hello, phone. What 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 do you need, phone? Mm. Give me one second. Ah. Uh. Yeah, uh, yes, I said duty. Very funny. But a uh, couple races to play with. Uh, as you can kind of see, most of the races are divided between the two big factions of the game, which are the Holy Nation and uh, the Yokai Nation. That's it. That, that, I might be having to step out here for a second. Uh, but yeah, a couple different races. 
Uh, the weird ones so far are uh, the Byleth, which are just dragon people because dragons, uh, and Gears, which are robot people, uh, but really nothing else too exciting. Couple different animal people, couple varieties of elves, and ta-da, we did it. Uh, oh. Ooh, right there. But, Dungeoneering. Basic idea behind Dungeoneering and a lot of things is, like, I want it to be fairly strict and have multiple encounters a session. Hence why we have the town phase. What's in the town? Well, this is these are all the things in the town. Hey, talk to people, do things. It's okay. Then we have the, kind of the Adventurer's Guild. What does the Adventurer's Guild really do? It's effectively a Ponzi scheme. That's the entire joke, is that it is a Ponzi scheme to get money out of people. I'm getting a phone call now. Give me one moment. I need to run out and do something real fast because this is my life. Uh, let's let's see. Let, let's let's do this properly. I'll I'll turn on some funky tunes for you all. Uh, I shouldn't be long, but please don't get into a fight, anyone. We're all cool and we're all nice with one another. Uh, the rat is dead. We have confirmed the rat died to a trap. Uh, they sealed the holes. There, apparently there were a bunch of holes in the basement. Uh, and everything is good. We have we have succeeded at the the Vermintide. We have cleared Überschreik. Call him Saltspire. Sigma! Bless this ravaged body! Uh, no, you, like, you gotta remember, Feel. This was like an industrial size super trap. This was one of those ones you see in like Tom and fucking Jerry. Like it was one of those traps. It was a big trap. And uh it it snapped and it uh, it killed him. Yeah. It was the uh, the rat equivalent of a bear trap. So, I'm going to step out for a minute. So I'm going to leave you all with some funky tunes. I will be back. Do not worry. I am, uh, uh, I will continue explaining Dungeon Delvers. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them. I will read them all. Except your questions. I know what you'll ask. Don't worry. My McNuggies will no longer be threatened. All right. <laughs> Dick. 
Thank you.
Baltimore, he he he. Boy next door, party party. Boy next door, he he he. Dungeon master, it's a fucking D. I'm more he he he. Boy next door, party party. Boy next door, he he he. Dungeon master, deep dark fantasy. Shit, I'm sorry. 
左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右左右
Hey, you have a bunk room. You have a shared room. You have an actual single room. Uh, then you, when you actually get down here, is when you start getting more and more extravagant. Uh, hey, I have an actual place that's not a part of the guild. I have an actual home. We have a mansion. Uh, as you kind of see some random, like, how to make quests and stuff, you know, kind of how do we, kind of building things around, and generally speaking, what the payment is going to look like. You don't get paid a lot for doing quests, but that's not the main thing what you're trying to do. Also, there is, res there, there's effectively in-universe resurrection. Uh, that's a thing that I made a big point about, which is, hey, someone's died, Someone is dead, bring them back up, bring them back, go to a shrine, and you can pay about, uh, usually about uh, 250 to about uh, 750 for a full body revival. You, they will be completely revived. If you bring nothing but a hand or anything like that, you're going to be paying about 1500 depending on their level. If you just have a blood vial, uh, if you just have a blood vial, you can, it's 2,000, 2,000. However, you can also purchase insurance. Uh, yes, you could purchase insurance to have a blood vial on, uh, you know, have, you know, blood vials on stock effectively. Is it possible to commit insurance fraud in this game? No, it's not. The church has made sure that you can't. But yes. Generally speaking, with the dungeons expedition, I use the void method. As you're progressing through the progressing through, you are kind of finding finding different runes out. You're trying to figure out what's going on here. Because every floor of the dungeon is unique. Because it is infused with horrible chaos magic. Effectively, dungeoneering is a profession in this world uh, for this particular dungeon, the dungeon, because it is infused with so much crazy-ass chaos magic, it wants you to leave. That's the entire point. It's trying to make sure that you go away. The bratty toaster is dead, everybody. Oracalcum just means brass, but Oracalcum sounds cool. Solid $20 bratty toaster. <laughs> Have no fear, everyone. The the tw solid $20 bratty toaster is here. Hopefully you all have fun with the $20 bratty toaster. But... Safe havens, how kind of rooms are, I still haven't, what did I end up calling that? I don't even remember what I ended up calling it, but uh, yeah, it's been a little bit hectic going through this. But uh, generally speaking, the original void method is actually completely random. That was the idea behind it, is that, hey, how do you create a random dungeon randomly quickly? The problem is, with a diceless game, you can't really do that. <laughs> you you can't really make a, a random dungeon, can you? You can't really make a random thing because randomness doesn't exist. So you have to create randomness in a different variety. Uh, basic premise is these five things. You want to scout around the area. You want to enter through a passage and enter the next room. Face down to the encounter. Investigate the room and then recuperate. Or if you want to. The biggest idea is that every single floor, every single area, is going to have different passages. Hey, there's just a passage to this next room. We know there's a room there. We haven't scouted it out. We don't know what's in it. We're pretty confident there is at least a passage here going somewhere. If you choose the scout, you're spending time. You're spending time to go to another location and scout it out. We're saying, okay, the room is known now. We know what kind of encounter we're going to see there. We don't know what it's going to be, though. We move into that room. We're going to encounter it. On the other hand, the other hand, you could also just bum bungle into a room. Moving takes resources, namely illumination. 
You want to move to a new room? You have to burn a torch to do such. You have to use, you know, some oil from a lantern. You have to do something to get somewhere. Or you enter in darkness. It is, you're entering completely blind, or you're entering with, uh, with a, some understanding of what's going on here. Entering in blind is usually not very good because you don't know what the encounter is going to be. When you enter a room, hey, you know, it's like, okay, we got to kind of make a, a, you know, make a call here. Then we're going to find a encounter. Hey, combat, someone friendly, it's a mystery, something's going on. We don't know what's up. Because the big thing is you have a dungeon list. Every, the GM will, instead of creating a random situation, will instead have a list of encounters in order. And every room that is scouted out or is walked into will, you know, kind of tick that off. Players do not know in which order the dungeon will be assembled. Actually, I think the best way... The players know which rooms are going to be connected to which rooms, but we have no idea how or what the actual list is. We scout things out and we say, oh, well, it's going to be friendly in there. But if we scout another room out saying it's going to be a monster, by virtue of discovering both of those, the monster is now starting to go around the dungeon. It's now moving. Because of because they made a choice, something has happened. It's a little bit different way of doing randomization. And uh, that hopefully works. Kind of the idea of investigation. One of the most important things is that you're trying to find loot. You're trying to get something out of the dungeon, and this is how you're actually going to be paying your bills. You want to go in, you want to find baubles and shit that the dungeon creates, and then you want to leave. That's the entire point. Your job is a, as an adventurer is to go in there and loot shit and then quickly leave. You might find trade goods. Trade goods are only really good for people of, you know, different factions. All a quest is at the end of the day. All you can say like, oh, well, I'm taking a quest or whatever. All you are doing when you say you're taking a quest is you're going into the dungeon for a reason. You're going to still pick up loot. But we also want to protect some information from a mer you know that a merchant wants. Hey, his son went down there, and he had some stuff on him. Please make sure it goes away. Hey, we are escorting, uh, we're escorting uh, an artifact for the for uh, the holy nation. We need to follow down a bunch of priests so they can set something up so their people knows what's what's going on. What goes on? What happens? We want to hunt some flora for the guild. There are some giant plant monsters that are making an issue and the guild wants to study them. Go out and start killing. I am vexed that I can't kill the toaster. Uh, you can't kill the toaster because uh, Phil uh, made sure that uh, the... The bratty toaster dies. Uh, they already bought that. Good job. Good job, Feel. You did it. <laughs> you did it, everyone. We saved the bratty toaster. So, kind of learning all about this. We want to pick up gear, but we have very limited invent. It's kind of the idea of we have limited inventory space. We want to pick up a bunch of stuff. What, how much supplies do we bring with us into the dungeon? How much supplies do we try to bring out of it? And that's where kind of the, the difficulties of the situation comes. Hey, we're dungeoneering. We don't have enough space in our pockets to carry every single thing we want. On the other hand, we also don't want, we also want to go in there and make sure we actually come out alive. So buying a bunch of health potions is taking up space. On the other hand, we're not going to bleed to death. Uh, combat in the dungeons, pretty standard stuff. It is effectively everyone has a bunch of AP, depending on if they're ambushed or not, and they're going to regain AP pretty consistently. And you can do as much as you want as long as you have the AP to spend. But that is also the only way for you to defend yourself. Hey. You want to... Yeah, 
think so. Uh, hey, you want to attack someone? It's going to be two AP. You want to use an item? It's going to be be XAP. You want to use, you want to try to defend yourself? You bring that. It's not too complicated. You want to defend yourself. Something is attacking you. Well, you're going to have to maybe burn XP to do, you know, uh, AP to do it. You might want to dive out of the way, but you're knocked down. You might want to use, you know, to parry to try to, you know, deal damage right back at them. Uh, that reminds me. AP. Let's do a recover. We're going to make that a 4 AP. Mm. Mm. Currently afflicting them, uh, takes off currently afflicting them. There we go. That is kind of the basics. Combat is actually in a, I wouldn't say a grid, but combat is in a line, such so is in a, is in a line method, kind of like old AR, old uh, JRPGs, because I like lines. That's literally it. I like lines. Give you an idea of how the line system works. Here's our front line. Here's our back line. Here's our retreat line. If I'm here, I'm in the front line. I can hit you with melee attacks. If I'm here, I can hit you with range attacks. If I'm back here, I can't hit you with anything. I'm trying to actively get out of the way. Uh, what I should do? Why don't I just call that? Uh, mm. Mm. Three, uh, these three uh, lines. Mm. Mm. Finally, comma retreat. Mm. Mm. Yeah, there we go. Pretty easy stuff. Straight back to front. Yeah, that is kind of the basics behind it. Right now we were doing class abilities, but there's a handful of things that I need to do. And that's just going to take time. So what we're going to do is grab all of you. We're going to swing all the way back up. Did some of these the other day. I'm going to put you right here. Uh, inventory management, yay! <laughs> hey, hey, we got Twitch Window One Works. So Notepad, uh, when you wrote this game, Notepad's read Tom and the Chronic, the strongest soldier. Artist I commissioned is going to try to fish for more money again. Oh boy. Kill all artists with hammers. Uh, but generally speaking, uh, I wrote this game back in 2019. Yeah, this is 2019. Uh, though, actually, no, it'd be 2020. 2020, I think, is when it, it was 2019, 20, not 20. I wrote it originally. This is this the update I've been working on for the better part of the month. Yeah. Mm, let's see. Mm. Either time in the dungeon, the adventures will encounter a number of. Mm. Yeah, let's see. number of conditions that will hinder that will hinder and uh, it will aid and uh, will aid and hinder mm. your efforts. These may be from these may be from nefarious traps. Ooh, let's see, maybe from nefarious traps, poison blades, uh, poison blades, or. Mm. Quaffing a, uh, quaffing, uh, quaffing that weird looking 
That weird looking potion. Odor cloth. That weird looking potions. Uh, let's see. Mm. 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 Let's see. Fall, uh, effects fall. Uh, effects can be either personal, environmental. Uh, envi let's see, it can be personal, environmental, or what am I, um, actually, no. Mm. Uh, conditions, conditions, uh, conditions can be, can be ailment, can be ailments, can be ailment, ailments, what would be the antonym of antonym? Anton of uh, robust fitness, strength, wholesome. Uh, I guess bo ailments, boons, or envir uh, or environmental uh, can be ailments, boons, or environmental. Mm. Actually, uh, actually, or situ. Uh, mm, mm. Begin coughing bile boons uh, boons will assist the will assist the adventurers Mm, to push through, to push through, mm, push through hardship. Finally, situational. Finally, uh, situational, uh, situational conditions are a uh, place of. Mm. Let's see. Situational conditions are neutral, but may trigger, but may trigger different effects, may trigger different effects by the situation they placed in. They are placed. Effectively, are you wet? If you're wet, you're going to get electrical damage more. That's bad. Uh, we want to do conditions. We heading. So we're going this. We're going to do that, and then we're going to do uh ailment. That this atrophy bleed bleed for me. Mm -hmm. Do burn 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 down in the ring of fire, the ring of fire. Do 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 do. Mm -hmm. e that the frozen figure eight invisible knocked down. Knocked down is a condition technically. Paralyze is addition here. Mm. Pierce poison. You mm. silence. The sound of silence done. Yo, these are all ailments. Bad things happening to us. Uh, do you know? Hello, phone. What's popping? It's another scam call. Yay! I love scam calls. They're my favorite. So, what we need to do here, we need to go like this. We need to 
to you. We need to have oh, just like that. There, put you boons. Blast. Hashtag blast. Uh, visible shot. These are not the final ones, by the way. Then we select you, we select this, and then we do situational. Situational, so... Chilled. Shocked. Wet. Link column. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus. 800 bucks. Good God, are you getting a fucking painting done? <sighs> okay, so... Let's see. Mm. Mm. So you cannot use any abilities. Yep, atrophy, bleed. Mm -hmm. Bleeding profuse is the, uh, the character is bleeding profusely. Every action reduces HP. By the AP went blind. Uh, mm. Mm. Let's see. Characters are blinded, they must spend double the AP to make a basic attack. Uh, expand. Mm. Burning alive, every action flicks fire damage by the AP spent. Uh, mm. Ripple, let's see. Mm. Just by half rounding down, that means you're not going to be acting as fast. Curse the character. Uh, mm. Mm. Character is terribly is terribly cur terribly cursed. Uh, lose three. Uh, lose. Mm. What would it be? It would be um. Uh, mm. mm. Yep, there we go. You lose Arcana HP around. The more magical you are, the more Arcana you have, the more you suffer from being cursed. Fear. Uh. Mm. What did I end up calling them? They are battle actions. All battle actions. Mm. Character is frozen in place, they cannot uh mm. 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 There we 
yo they may use this ability they may use this action action on an ally within the same position as them if they're still if you're both frontline you can try to recover one another uh let's see mm. Lock down uh mm. Mm, actually, action. Yep, all reactions. Yep, all the all the reaction costs are doubled. Paralyze. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Character's body is... Do this. Uh, no, they may perform no battle action. Still react as if you're paralyzed, but you can't do any battle actions. Pierce, uh, where carries weapon, pierced through physical defense, that's fine. Uh, poisoned. Uh, mm. Character is suffering, is suffering from po uh, from poison. Uh, take, take four. Mm. Mm. Take four damage. Uh, take four damage. Mm. At the end, uh, at the end of the round, until cured. At the end of the round, until cured. Mm. Cannot be, cannot be blocked by physical or magical means. So your vet, uh, let's actually do not be blocked by physical or magical armor setup. Uh, mm, character. Mm. Actually. Mm. Why don't we replace setup with expose? With setup, they have no physical defense. Uh, they have no physical armor. They have no physical armor. Silence. Mm. Mm. Yep. Stun reducing AP regen to one. Let's do a quick run through of all our abilities real fast, just to make sure that we haven't anything. Uh, burning one, easy enough, initiative, rage condition. We need to add the rage condition. We have to redo invigorate because invigorate's really good. We're going to have to do power armor. Hmm. Uh, marked. Put in. Anything else? And I guess. There we go. So we're going to go down all the way back down here. Dun, dun, dun. So we need to add in marked. Is mm. mm. marked for death. They take, they take, plus two damage from all sources. They take plus two damage from all sources. Anything else that we're missing? I feel like I'm missing something here, and I don't know what it is. But, last. Uh, mm. Let's see. 
your character has unnatural speed, they may take a sec uh they may take a second battle action. Battle action at the end of the round, they gain um mm, Dissipates after use, it doesn't last that long. Invigorate. Mm. 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 The all the all battle action cost AP, negative cost negative one AP to a minimum of one, because in fact. Good in that regard. Invisible. Mm. Mm. Well, uh, not be targeted by, uh, mm. Yeah, invisible invisible is any actions. You can't be targeted by any abilities or actions. Stealth those you can be tar you cannot be targeted by abilities. You can still be auto. Mm. She wants to make the profile picture when I met she finishes and tries to guilt me into paying her. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no, she's trying to rinse you. Brother, please. Brother, chill. Uh, let's see. Um, mm, there's chills in their bones. All actions cost plus one. All actions cost plus one AP. Mm. Shock. Mm. 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 So you'll in in general you'll be re you'll be getting like two AP. It's not you know shock is pretty bad. Wet. Mm. 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 That's it. The character is covered in water or another liquid. All e all electric and cold damage. Uh, let's see. All electric and cold damage. Mm. Mm. Let's see, it would be uh chilled shock, you're in Let's see, so I'm chilled, I'm shocked, I'm completely wet, I am mm. Mm. If they take if they take fire damage, inflict burning. Inflict burning five here. Mm. Mm.
Let's see, the character is burning alive. Every every action inflicts fire damage equal to the AP spent. Mm. Mm. Let's see parenthesis um, indicating it it's indicating its timer indicating its timer timer uh timer is how many rounds mm. see so, yeah, a timer is how many rounds must pass before the condition is removed by is removed by uh removed by its uh, removed by itself using the recover let, let's see using the recover is or the recover it's Cover using the recover action. Mm. Ending the uh sets it to zero, ending the condition immediately. So we want to do oil. Do you inflict burning five? That means for five rounds you're going to be on fire unless you burn X unless you burn something, which is i.e. actions. Uh Chilled, shocked, you're wet, you're oiled up, you are, uh, mm. Coughed up, is coughing up bile and blood. Yeah, you have, uh, they have the zero to all in all status. Actually, they have, they have zero in all statuses except vitality. Yes, being sickened mean you are doing you have zero in everything because you're just coughing up blood where you really shouldn't. Uh but that brings me to power armor, rage, resist. Power armor. Mm. Mm. Character doubles their current armor until the end of until the end of the round. Taunt. Uh, mm. Attacking any other. Uh, attacking any other character. Actually, no, 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 no. Mm. be targeted by every action or ability mm. 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 there we go taunt is not useful if you're in the back row uh overheating overheating is a good one we can use over mm. 
Uh, oh, let me just click every single wrong thing. Hey, hey. I'd probably be following this better if I had actually seen Yes Precure 5 and knew what these people were. So let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, so in this more or less dungeon crawl theme, so is this more or less a dungeon theme, you know, themed board game like Hero Quest? To a degree, I guess you could see that. I'm a uh, Doing it more like Etrian Odyssey. Kind of it's... The game itself is more you are going down into a dungeon to do things. You are developing your characters and you're doing things very actively. Even if it's not strictly like... How do I want to word this? Even if it's not strictly... Hey, I want to... You know, roll the dice and make things random happen. It's like, yeah, there's still events going on. There's still situations that you need to react to you need to be clever with I guess it's uh if like if, if we were to make this a, a line hello Miro if we were to make this a line from A to B like if hero quest is here on the on the board game on the board game chart and the dungeons and the dragon you know the D and the D is over here and comes to the RPG the you know, RPG board game I guess dungeon tactics would be like right here like it's leaning toward that board gamey aspect but I'm still trying to keep as much role play stuff in it as possible Because originally, the weird thing with this game that threw me for a goddamn loop when I first uh, got the commission for it. Here's some old lore. Uh, one of the weird things was that he wanted it to be uh, um, Divinity, that's it. Yes, because that was the that was the big thing. He wanted this diceless role-playing game but he wanted it like divinity. Yeah, y you see where I was a little bit, um, I was a little confused at first. Uh, I had to do a lot of research into things like divinity and other games. Uh, that's why there's an entire section on, hey, here's a bunch, like, <laughs> I have no idea what the what the clue that means. Divinity is a game, is a game series. You might have heard of Baldur's Gate 3. You know, that little game that no one's ever heard about before? Uh, Divinity 2 was the prequel, not even prequel necessarily, but it's the game they did before it. One of the big things in the Divinity series is that most everything you touch is interactable. You want to throw a barrel at someone? You can throw a barrel at them. You want to coat an entire area full of oil and then bait the enemy in and then throw a fire pot on the oil because fire and oil makes things go whoosh. It was a game of a lot of interactions with the environment. That was the big thing that he wanted to have happen. This is like, oh, hey, I want this diceless role-playing game to have a lot more stuff. Baldur's Gate is the only city in the Forgotten Realms if Watsi has ever heard of. Yeah, I'll have you know. Baldur's Gate and the Sword Coast is the only Forgotten Realms section available. There is no place else. But uh, that's kind of the idea is, hey, the entire environment can be interacted with. And that's actually been really, really interesting. And that's something you kind of got to think about. Oh, uh... Mm -hmm. Mm. 
actually do. This was actually a big note on the original game, which is something I didn't agree with really at all. Because in the original, this is the original version. You can buy this game right now if you want. Uh, I recommend it. Though. One of the ideas here, which was very, very strange, was that every single class actually had very specific weapons and armor that they could only equip. So playing a Frost Lord means you had the Frosted Axe and Furs. You had nothing else. Yeah, it's a... Uh, so you all you would do is just increase the potential of your weapon or the get your your armor to be better. You wouldn't get things really. Here I made a point of being like, yeah, as long as you are trained in it, you can like you can take additional, you know, you can use any weapon of your choice. But they even do Al Alkadim would need a very specific you would need a very specific writer, and you would need a very specific team. Uh, you know, every Final Fantasy has its own weapon that only uh, that, that class can use. Yeah, but mind you, this was also completely diceless, completely everything else, and it was very, it was a very weird game unto itself. And I was like, oh, what's <laughs> something in the drops that no the raid can use? Hey man, I played a I played a priest back in WoW days. I know. Oh, I can't use that. That's my modus operandi. That was my day to day life. Mm. Let's see. You're chilled. You're shocked. You're wet. You're oiled up. Uh. Mm. Mm. Let's see. Uh, mm. And plus three to all. Mm. Actually, add plus might. Mm. Mm. Must attack every round or lose rage. Equal to Arcana. Mm. The round. Okay, so we do this. We've got all of these somewhat sorted out. Got all these somewhat sorted out. We've got these sorted out somewhat. Status effect. What status effects are we looking for? Acid. Mm -hmm. Mm. 
My man was like, you get it then. Why you play healer? Because no one else in the guild will play the healer, so I have to. I shoulder the burden. And I was a good healer. I did, I fucking healed. See, the, the most cursed situation was that I heal, healed Black Temple. Healing Black Temple sucks, by the way. Uh, black tap, you know, like, it, it will never be fun. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. You have any fun status effects? Mm -hmm. Good one, Apotheosis. The last blinding bone cage to do. What am I? What am I thinking of? Not bless. Not con courage. Mm. Actually, we can do. Um, mm. 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 Yep, you clear mind. We want to do. Mm. Actually, level up. Actually, no. Bubble. No. We want to do. Um. Might times two, temporary HP. C.
Mm. What am I missing? Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll use just a couple ideas here and sending. Cool. Yeah. So we've got this. What we need to do now, we need to check. We need to go here. We need to hit this button. We go ability effects. Actually, no, it could be conditions. Cool. So we hit conditions and now we have to select all of this and we hit this mm. Uh, let's see, I know I have done it. Heal, heal that on a restoration druid. Oh, God. Hookers where you'd always wipe because somebody had to interact with one. Yes. Oh, God. WoW game played like people wrote skimmed wiki articles, but never... I never I never read the D20 WoW game, but I know it exists, and I know it was bad. <laughs> God, it's been forever since I played WoW. I don't, I don't regret leaving WoW. However, I also understand fundamentally that uh, it, it was not a good time. See, World of Warcraft actually is a really weird, like... Like, it has a really wor weird history because there's the 3.5 Warcraft RPG and then there's the World of Warcraft RPG. It's one of those things you look at, you're like, wait a second. Yeah, the the original, because there was the two versions. Now, <laughs> even more fucked up. Even more fucked up when you realize fucking White Wolf did it. <laughs> yeah, White Wolf released the D20... It's one of those really cursed pieces of information that when you realize... Yeah, when you realize that White Wolf made this... <laughs> what are they? Oh god. Scarred Lands, Ravenloft. They published the EverQuest role-playing game, the Warcraft, and Gamma World. <laughs> what a... What a cursed existence. What a what a cursed and wretched existence. Oh god. I wonder if sword sorcery still is sword sorcery still around 2008. I don't think it is anymore. Nope, it just links right back to paradox. Though, in an interesting, weird turn of fate, you have to realize then, by technicality, this does link... They still own the domain sword-sorcery.com. Yeah, you want a World of Darkness TikTok. Oh, man. It's been... World of Darkness Unbound. Yep, like, uh, you can technically play, you, you can technically make your own World of Darkness, uh, RP, you know, not even RPGs, just video games. Tabletop, you have to go through Storyteller's Vault, which Storyteller's Vault is its own thing. Let's see, uh, pretty good though. It gets more of their wheelhouse. That there's five even. Yeah, I do know On Onyx Path has got a couple weird games. Because, like, Onyx Path also has 
like very bizarre games like Pugmire. Like, yeah, Pugmire, you know, you know that game. But they also have like a couple of these weird little games that we don't, no one really talks about for various reasons. Yeah, open development. Hey everybody, it's apparently open development has been more realms of Pugmire. Uh-oh. Let's see. What's on the Monday meeting for April 15? Let's let's see. They came from the Cyclops cave. Sidereals. Oh boy, everyone, it's time for Sidereals. Coming next, At the Gates, the Ashcan version, Onyx Path Media. Yeah, Onyx Path is... They ain't... I, I wouldn't say they're doing poorly now. But, Onyx Path is... Not doing super hot. If that may if that makes sense like they're not doing super duper hot right now they're in a kind of a weird space is because world of darkness is one of their main things kind of uh shot them in the foot two two books this is a great i stand for not taken seriously didn't bother looking to catch dozens of errors items described and missing items online but no descriptions tables omitted from the books sections discussed and not present the book isn't complete, and he still gave it two stars. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Wrong recipe tables. Oh. Man, I love... Mo oh, Modiphius. <laughs> Oh, Modiphius. Pugmire is 5e only, yes. Well, it's it's not 5e. Pugmire is... Pugmire is like one of those weird games that is technically its own... It's its own system. However, it's also definitely not its own system. It's an OG... It's 5e compatible. And it's not it's not 5e though. However. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, you get the uh it's its own thing, but it's just 5e, because 5e makes money. And always remember that, kids. 5e makes money, and everything else is secondary. Uh, let's see. Injury. Mm. Mm. Let's see. Dungeons of the place the best time lethal more often than not. Um, when a, uh, if a, when, actually, no, when an adventure, mm, 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 Uh, let's see. Well, fall to the ground in pain and shock. Which is, they will fall to the ground in pain and shock. Should they be... Mm, let's see. Mm, Mm, 
have their level rounds to be... Mm. Each adventure has their level rounds to be healed to get back into the fight, or they will, or they will, or they will perish. Regardless of the, let's see, regardless of the outcome, the adventure will, the adventure will take, well, uh, actually, or they will perish. When an adventure, when an adventure dies, actually, no. Um, mm, should they, actually, should the, uh, should they be, should they be healed or the, mm, Battle is one before they expire, or the battle is one before they expire. They will, mm, will still take an injury. Injuries are a multitude of different problems and issues that a mm, mm, Uh, let's see. Now has to deal with until they take time to recover. Until they take time to recover. Most small ones. Mm. Mm, easy enough to manage. Let's see. Most small ones should be easy enough to manage. Mm, actually, uh, every injury. Every injury. Mm. Uh, let's see. Every injury taken reduces stat uh, reduces statuses by actually oh, just make sure that we're getting everything correct because everything is correct. Actually, every injury taken reduces statuses by by one step by one step. Actually, no. Um. Mm, 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 is negative two two mm. every injury is negative two to all stat two negative two is a negative two to a mm. Mm. Mm, let's see Every injury is a negative two to each stat, to each stat and negative five to their vitality. Mm, actually, two. Let's just, I'll just two arcana, cunning, might, perception, perception, and negative five to their vital, and negative five to their vitality. Mm. Mm. Let's see, should they take a number of injuries equal to their level one? Equal to their level plus one, equal to their level plus one. Mm. They will they will die instant they will die instantly. Mm. Injury equal to level plus one. So generally speaking, at level one you get two injuries. Level three you get four injuries. It's not a lot, but it's like, hey, do you keep going down? You sh you're just going to die. Lower level characters are not going to be able to take as many injuries as higher level characters. Actually, let's bump that up to level plus two. Uh, let's see, equal to their level plus two. They will die instantly. Hmm. Mm. Instant death, uh, actually, instant death. May, um, mm.
the level time. So your instant death would be... If you were to take damage, that would put you into like negative 5, negative 10, negative 15. This isn't really a big issue later on, but it's an issue earlier on. You know, it's just like if you take a shit ton of damage right away, uh, or if they... Mm, mm, Let's see, or if they are attack or they are hit by any attack while uh, oh while well, down. Mm. Mm. Actually equal to Go your A B C D, mm. or if they're hit by an attack while down, taking more damage. Mm. 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 Adventures take up uh, uh, an adventuring corpse. An adventuring, an adventuring corpse takes up equal uh, an adventurer's mm. an adventurer's corpse takes up inventory. Mm. Uh, yeah, let's see, inventory space uh, takes up. Let's say it would be ten inventory. It takes up ten inventory space. Actually, no. Mm. Go down to the town phase. Mm. Takes a uh, total corpse. Total corpse takes up twenty inventory space. Though, uh, it is not uncommon. Mm. Mm. Including equipment. Uh, though it is on the come for the adventurers to start to hack off. Mm. 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 Hacked off the head of a uh, head of, a, of of their friend for easier transportation. For easier transportation, if if quite a bit, but quite a bit more expensive, quite a bit more expensive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of ways to die, but I'm okay with people dying because that's fine. That is very natural. Sorry if I'm not paying attention right now, I'm just kind of focused. But note. Mm. This is why I said there would probably only be one episode of this, simply because this just isn't actually very interesting to talk about. There's no... There's nothing like, oh boy, time for some fun and exciting game design. It's like just, yay, let's talk about, let's talk about n basic numbers. Woo! Oh, not full. We here. Originally, what I wanted to do was do abilities tonight, but. That kind of is a meme at this point. I'm okay with that being a meme because we need to get all this shit done. Uh, you, we need to here, we need to this. More, little more, there we go. 
Mains inventory inventory uh 2010 5 4 1 0. The value of taking your friends taking your friend's head is that it does not actually take up much space. And if you want and if it's uh you you desperately want to bring up some some fan some fat loot, then yeah, f fuck him. You don't need your fr your friend's not paying for his cut. <laughs> we we're, we're down inventory space because of him. Um, can I do? Yeah, I can do. That. There we go. Put a nice image down there. I'm getting pinged by someone who's pinging me. Uh, apparently something is going on in my screen. Uh, I can't tell what's going on in my screen, so let's uh let's show the player real fast. Nope, everything looks good to me. The, the bratty toaster must be able to get shot forever. No, this is what you all wanted. Content that you desire. This is what you. You're gonna add 20 to the permanently kill it. Nah. Here's the thing Solid paid me actually 20 United States dollars. 20 United States dollars. He sent me that money to get rid of the bratty toaster. Actually, to add the bratty toaster. Not get rid of it. We can't get rid of it that easily. So I'm uh, here. I'll make it a bounty. It's fifty United States dollars to get rid of the bratty toaster. <laughs> no, no. I'm going to extort my audience for more money. BRB. Gotta extort my my audience. Let's see, so we have one, how to die, so we go down to this. This is what all the abilities are going, this is what all the abilities currently are like. Uh, should add, it should add is, uh, mm, mm, Maybe cost, mm, Yeah, currently it's a little bit easier said than done. You're not going to get a ton of abilities right off the bat. This is what a vast majority of them look like. They're nothing too exciting. What I was planning on doing is that some may be passive, always being infected as long as the adventure stays alive. Each of uh, four tiers. There's four tiers. Four tier, so we need to do uh mm. 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 
yeah the writing here's writing here's a little bit weird it might just kind of like how i want to organize the uh how i want to organize everything uh mm. Ooh. Yeah, there's a lot of abilities here. That's why I'm a little bit like, oh god. What I was thinking about doing is that if we have if we have six abilities six abilities each six abilities two passives two passives these could be camp or a basic passive and then we have and these would just be our collect passives are just things you have to pick up and you don't get any bonuses you don't get any penalties these do not develop passive passives do not develop I was thinking about doing something like that and it could work because in theory all that we would need to do like again this is just our basic alchemist so it would be if we paste this right here our two passives would be shot at life and mm, bag of tinctures mm. Tinctures. So let's think. We want to do some more supporty abilities. Mm. So we want to do more supporty abilities. Oh, uh, we want to do um. Mm. Mm. Clarity powder, clarity power, mm, the alchemist. Mm. 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 On to line all um uh, party members let's see uh one two line all party members gain the uh gain the clear mind condition we'll say that's going to be like a three we'll say that's like a two we'll say that's a three ap action mm. There we go. Clear mind to condition. You'll get it for very long, but you get you get plus one on everything. Ten thousand note coins to kill the toaster. No, you already burnt that. You don't get more of it. Let's think. I want to. Mm. Mm. What would be um want sorry what would be uh I want, if I if I call something a steroid steroids uh mm, mm, Uh mm. Mm. We have might mm. Mm. Let's 
let's see uh the alchemist tosses a drink to an ally they gain the buffed up they gain the buffed up condition for one for uh two three four five rounds there we go uh clarity powder might so we want to do that as 3 ap 3 ap we do 3 ap we make this 4 ap we effectively can double someone's health um battle action obviously battle action clear powder might Yo, then we do barbarian. B -b barbarians. There could be barbarians. Da -da 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 -da. So, if we're doing two passive effects, blood in the eye, and then we do. Mm, Actually, we could do, um, In the buff gains the uh buffed up one two three four mm. the man who bought it that's the secret let's see refusal to die hatred of the arcane we want to do one carnage uh let's add plus four let's see plus three to their damage uh, they recover 3 HP because these don't develop. Because we don't need them to develop. Mm. Actually, what we can do is negative 2 AP usable. Mm. This is just a camp ability. This is a passive ability. Having the shot of life is, hey, I get to remove an injury for free, effectively. That's the, that's the secret. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's say what else? I want to make, I want to ride my bicycle, I want to ride my bike. Let's think here. I am a... Actually, we can add in the... Mm, hamstring. Gains mm. mm. crippled of. Uh, one, two, five, mm. Games crippled. Two, three, it's comma, 
fear. Six AP. Mm. We're going to do uh, all the X AP. Uh, the orbear helps them power through when they use a re when they use the recover action. Mm, they make a uh, when they use the recover action. They make a basic they make a basic melee attack. But we're going to it's gonna be four, three, two, one. So the entire idea is that, hey, you, I have attacked you as a barbarian. I have attacked you, or no, as, as a monster, I've attacked the barbarian. They can just say, nah, and then just make a basic melee attack if they are attacked. They still take damage. They are saying, no, I am going to hit you back. That's their entire thing. They are going to hit you straight back. Uh, they... Mm, Problem is, it, actually, you know what we can do? Let's let's bump that up because that's pretty good. If you completely master it, you only have to pay two AP for it. But generally speaking, you're going to be paying about four for it. If the barbarian's going really slow, it's going to help them, kind of give them a little bit more. And it's going to be in their it's going to be in their their ability to kind of mitigate things a little bit more because that's their entire goal. Is they're supposed to be. Soaking some damage. Okay. Captains. Capitan. 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 Lag bearer. Um, banner, uh, mm, Nephilim Silk, and a flag bearer, actually. Mm, mm. No, Nephilim Silks. Want to do all allies gain. Mm. 
King and the Stag King. We're going to make that seven six four uh, seven six four AP. Uh, everyone gets haste. This is fucking bonkers. That means you can take two actions around effectively. Everyone gets that. <sighs> By the way, Notepad, long time you haven't made a war game. You have any of those in mind? At least Redux in one of your old ones. I've had a few ideas of how to do a war game. It's they just don't get voted on really. So they don't really they don't go anywhere because nobody votes on them. Because no one votes on them, I don't tend to work on them. It's kind of a it's just a process. Mm. Power armor. Uh mm. Deathless. Mm. Deathless condition. Five targets. Give me up for four. My plus two plus uh, plus six. My plus, plus six, because we need to get master weapon damage and then bleed. One, two, three, four. Stick in the stick in the blood. Stick in the blood isn't as super useful because you can still clear it, but that's four rounds of. Give you an idea. That's four rounds where any action they take is ape is HP damage. So you're minimum doing about four damage. It, because they have to take a spend a recovery action to do it. That's it. Uh, let's see. Seething displeasure about magic allows them to gain might magic armor for one, two, three, four. Mm. I might have to re. I'm probably going to have to redo some of these to make them look correct, but that's kind of the nature of the the beast. that then we move on to the cap capitan capitan uh plus four physical armor plus five initiative plus five damage magical armor plus damage uh dash one The ant tricolor is just moving. The captain's entire gimmick, mind you. The captain's entire gimmick is that they have banners. They raise the banner, and it's a permanent effect as long as they are on there. So as long as... You can raise the steel banner, and if you raise the steel banner, everyone gets bonus physical armor. However, if you rose the Aurochs, everyone gets bonus damage. Now, good news is that the captain is someone who... The captain has a lot of responsibility. It's their duty to say, okay, what banner do we want to have raised for the remainder of the fight? They may not have a lot of abilities, but it's kind of like, okay, we are... We have the advantage. We're doing a lot, you know, we're doing a lot of damage. Let's put on Aurochs on here so we get to do bonus damage. On the other hand, they may say, Hey, we are not, this is going really badly. We need to pull back. We need to, we, we need to do something else. Or you're like, okay, maybe we need to, let's see, actually. Do, uh, mm, Buff. Actually, no. We want to do last condition. Yeah, carcass kin. We get plus five HP. Target is paralyzed. For one, two, three, four. Target enemy is paralyzed. One, two, 
four. Mm. Yeah. Hanged man, like it, it's a lot more thinking about where do we want to position ourselves? How do we want to position ourselves? What's the game plan? The captain is kind of what the captain is one of those is probably one of the classes where you have to think about the most. Uh, barbarians, you don't really need to think too hard with. Barbarians are pretty simple, all things considering. Their entire goal in life is to uh, get into the fight and just keep swinging. You're using things like power smash because you want. You, you use things like power smash because you can game the system here. If there's one guy in front and three rangers, power smash him into the back line. You guys want to know what happens when you power smash him into the back line? Everyone moves up to the front line because no one's in the front line anymore. Everyone moves up. So you've now moved up with the idea being you've knocked them back and you've followed them. <laughs> You're pushing the line back a little bit. On the other hand, you might want to, it's kind of like, okay, I'm going to trigger Berserk early so I get the Rage, so I get Haste, so I get Power Armor, so I get all of these, you know, useful, you know, useful things. Mm. Actually, we'll do, uh... uh, it's actually because we added Deathlet, we're going to add, mm. Actually, if the care still take an injury yeah deathless effectively says i can stay i can stand up which does mean that you can't die though hence why you can't be auto you can't be auto killed because you're not downed you're still up you're still fighting you just have zero hp on the other hand someone could probably kill you pretty easily i'm okay with that that, that makes that makes sense uh, Crusader, uh, mm. Mm. Crusader grants all their allies invigorated, power armor, blessed. Uh, it would, you would want to add in, because round table, round table's entire thing is that it's the, let's, let's go guys, together, we're, we're to, together to victory, because we can totally win this fight, because we're, this is our round table, and this is our, this is our, uh, our cheer, our cheer to victory, everyone. Uh, mm. Mm. Give them. Re Why don't we do invigorated, resist, power armor, blast? Everyone gets to take actions easier. Everyone gets to resist some magic. Everyone gets bonus armor. Everyone starts healing. Uh, let's see, uh, 3 AP, let's see, I don't know why Consecrated Strike is like that, that's gonna be it, uh, mm. Mm. 
how they deal. Mm. Mm. Magic damage. Let's see, it deals magic damage. Comma, Arcana plus up. Plus Arcana. Plus, plus Arcana. To, um, A uh, heart soul for rounds becomes target of the attack. Mm. Enemy gains foes, target of the attack. Move we want to do. Mm. On to gain power armor, gain enemy gains exposed. War him equal, let's see, right, magic armor, gain magic armor equal to physical armor, gain invigorate, gain haste, or Yeah, the Crusader's entire modus operandi is a survival. They are probably one of the most durable classes in the game. And that's their entire gimmick. Uh, let's spare the rest, spare the... Uh, mm. Buffed up and rage. Mm. They don't get it for very long, but they're saying, nope, hit me. Holy Haymaker, actually, that's two. Holy Haymaker as a reaction. Deal weapon damage, deal weapon damage, gain rage, gain blessed. Okay, so that should work. Uh, okay. Next, we need two red passes. Mm hmm. Defender of the people, Iron Icon, uh, what other? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
doesn't seem like a lot. They just get to do a lot of... They just get to do a lot of damage very consistent. That's their entire gimmick. Is that they're saying, hey, as long as I am continuing to be a part of problem for you, I will continue be a problem. Mm, actually, let's see. Mm, actually, no. Um... Mm, There we go. Doesn't even matter. Just at the end of the round, you can just say, Nope, I have taunt one. <laughs> you can always have taunt on, which just means you're going to get fucking focused. That's okay. So, let's see. You are supposed to be a variation of and full of different characters. Mm, so... The Highlander. The Highlander is speed. God, it's like nine o'clock already. We've been doing this for two and a half hours. Let's think. I haven't eaten anything today. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to call it here because we did a lot of work today and I've got stuff I need to read tonight. I'm tired and this is going to be long and annoying. It's great. <laughs> yeah, this is... Uh, I just felt like I needed to stream something tonight, so uh, here it is. This isn't exactly the most exciting thing to stream, because it is literally just going- It is literally just me sitting here and hemming and hawing. It's not fun, it's not exciting, it's just pain. So, I'm gonna call it here for tonight, because I'm gonna make dinner. Uh, thank you all for watching. Godspeed, good luck. Love you all. Kiss you, kiss you. If you need me, you know where to find me. <laughs>